In this hands-on tutorial, we'll set up a feed to transform data using Kylo's wrangling capabilities. You can follow along with your own Kylo Sandbox instance, available on kylo.io quick start. So let's get started. Access Kylo with your browser and then log in. You log in with DL admin, password, think big, all lowercase. We want to be in the feed manager module where all existing feeds are listed. Your sandbox should come pre-configured with two existing feeds in the concerts category, venues and events. We're going to join the two tables and generate some simple statistics in Kyla's Wrangler tool. To create a new feed, we click the plus at the top right of the screen. We're presented with a few options. Select data transformation. Kylo provides a wizard to walk through the rest of the process. We want to give this feed a friendly name. Our feed will join two hive tables related to concerts to get a rollup of events by city. Let's call our feed event stats. We'll put it in the concert category. Now we will type in the table search to find our source tables. Once we have the two tables on our canvas, we can connect them together like this. Kyla will attempt to infer the join keys, but of course you can modify them. We can deselect fields that we don't care about in the result set. Moving to the next step, we'll get a tabular result with a sample set of data. You can click on a column header for simple transform options that you can perform on that column. Let's uppercase the field as an example. Next, we'll use the formula bar to access over 300 transform functions with over 600 variations. For a simple example, let's just concatenate the city and state fields to create a new column, and we'll call it city state. The new column appears on the right. Finally, let's perform a group by function to count the number of events by our new column. Great, we have our new results. In the history dropdown, you can view the recipe of transformations and even undo commands. It's also possible to modify the sample size if you need to work with more data in your interactive session. Otherwise, it's limited to just 1,000 rows. Finally, we'll proceed to schedule this transformation recipe as a feed.